Harbin, Harbin, Harbin. China's ice and snow city Harbin has gone viral on social media. Tourists from the warm south flock to this far north city to enjoy novelties barely seen in their hometowns. Take a look at these ice sculptures, Russian style architecture, and of course, local delicacies. I've been in Harbin for four days now, and I'm starting to understand why this cold city has become so hot. First, services. The local government was fully prepared to welcome the influx of tourists. A local taxi driver told us that Harbin's government is very strict on regulating unlicensed taxis and irrational price increases so that every tourist can travel with no worries. As many tourists are from the south and may have never been to such cold places before, local authorities prepared non-sleep carpets and set up public warming shelters with warm water. They even used drones to hang a fake moon above its landmark St. Sophia Cathedral just because tourists wanted to have a moon shining brightly in their photos. Second, hospitality. Harbin locals have long anticipated this moment. People here are willing to be as helpful as they can, like organizing free rides for tourists. Every local we spoke to warmed our hearts with their open and cheerful demeanor. They say they welcome tourists to the city, just like welcoming friends and relatives to their homes. Lastly, Harbin itself is simply a city worth visiting. Here, incredible ice sculptures with colorful lights bring you into a magical world. Both Chinese and Western-style historic buildings showcase the city's diverse history. Ice skating, snowboarding, and many other winter activities are the trademark of Harbin. In the recent three-day New Year's holiday, over 3 million visitors brought Harbin nearly 6 billion yuan in tourism income, which is over 800 million US dollars. With China's biggest annual holiday, the Spring Festival coming up, the tourism craze sees no end in sight.